guys, Rob and George here with you, aka VHS82 apostrophe, with my ongoing Space 1999 series up to episode 38. And the name of this one, The Beta Cloud, um, dropped uh, December 16th, 1976, uh, directed by one Robert Lynn, who also did Catacombs. And uh, guest starring, guest starring. Get ready for this. No, 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 then. David Prowse as the alien. Or is it an alien? Uh, we'll get into that. Um, a true alien. Anyways. Um, yeah. Seed of Destruction was really good. I really like that. This one? No, nah, so. Eh. No, nah, I don't know. You know, uh, John Kenneth Murr and his... Uh, Exploring Space 1999 reference guy. Uh, says says a few things. I, I just, yeah, I don't follow. Um, you know, just at the fact that uh, this uh, flies through its 52 minutes at commendable breakneck roller coaster pace. Uh, this thing was anything, maybe breakneck. Um, but this, at times it just, and I hate saying things like this, but it felt laughable. Um, it, it just, nothing made sense to me at all. And I try hard, man. I try hard to ride with it. And this, this again, okay. So, you know, I just revisited Max and Moore Drive last night. And you know, you get that weird green cloud, the, the, the vapor trail of the comet that the earth is stuck in for what, eight days or something. And then all havoc ensues, man. Machines light up and it's war against humanity. Anything living probably. I was thinking last night how much more they really could have done with that movie. And I forget Stephen King directed that. But anyways, I was thinking about that with this episode. And I thought, you know, they come into this sort of their own vapor trail sort of cloud that immediately begins to have this, the effect of causing a good portion, why not all? I don't know, uh, of uh, moon base off as inhabitants. Um, either really sick, tired, fatigued. Um, actually, they kind of reminded me, um, well, I was gonna, eh, I almost, eh. uh, anyways, a good portion of Moonbase al moon Alpha's, um, well, yeah, you know what I'm gonna say, because I had it. Um, but, you know, it, it did remind me of the effects of COVID, just the extreme fatigue, the nature of just not, not being able to do anything, bedridden. Um, and so a good portion of the, uh, good portion including Koenig which is really weird that there's a few episodes this year where Koenig really does take a backseat and and it's a curious thought that Murr actually says in his comment on this um he wonders if they weren't planning on some kind of coup had this gone to a third a third season and Landau decided to just bail what were they going to do that's interesting but so as, as the effect of the cloud now, they send an eagle, I think Eagle 6, up to check it out. It never comes back. Days later, it finally comes back. Now, when it does come back, it's mysterious because there's no contact, there's no, they, there's no life forms on it, uh, which should have been actually the first major clue at the beginning. I didn't even think about it to just now. It should have been the first major clue that there was something up with this so-called organism on it. So, in its very creepy way, it does land and so what terror lurks inside? <sighs> Looks like an alien that could have been in any one of the older Star Trek episodes. Uh, one alien, sort of a lizard monster thing, gets out and just starts unleashing destruction in an attempt on behalf of the cloud. And this whole relationship thing just, just never ex explained. Uh, the, the idea here, whoever is the cloud, whatever life entity this is like too many others they want the uh, life support system of moon base alpha why i'm not sure because we're in the outer rim of space alien civilization should not be working on the same compatibility as humans and it just seems like way too many aliens out there need our type of life life support system uh it's the same when you go onto a foreign planet and you see numerical you know ones two threes fours why are they using our own our number system it just it, it sort of really doesn't make sense but the mission on this thing is to render moon base alpha helpless so that it can achieve without much of a fight um 
the life support system. And so it is a war of a few against this uh, this creature, uh, which for all apparent shows no life at all. In now it's alive and everything, right? But Maya, uh, we, we learn going in, Maya cannot turn into it. Now this really is, I mean, the three standouts in this episode is probably Tony and Maya and then Sandra. Sandra will, you know, she will get moved out of her regular place and be more front and center in this particular episode in Helena. Um, and as they engage, Tony engages and tries to do everything. You know, they're trying to, they, they unleash everything known to them and nothing is stopping this creature uh, from tearing this place up, looking for the life support. Now, if you're intelligent enough to render half the population helpless, if you're intelligent enough to do a lot of these things, but you, you don't know where the life support system is automatically. I don't know. There's a lot of things in here that just don't stack up. Now, Freiburger cares more than anything. He cares about action. It's, it's, it's a good pace. There's action sequences. And this is really more of an American model than it is the British model anymore, at least in terms of year one, right? Um, gone are the days of Victor Bergman and the philosophy rants and just the good, slow, methodical, meand not meandering, um, uh, this is another word I was thinking, but those days, those days are gone. Now we're into just a straight up, in American eyes, sort of action romp. And this one, I don't know. I was thinking, I love, I do love the idea that something of yours could come back from somewhere, and it just unleashes. Like I was just thinking, um, um, golly, golly, um, Nightmare City uh, from 1980. Uh, what is it? That plane lands. And the infected, once they come out, it, it just unleashes the plague. Or you think about uh, a zombie, the boat uh, coming in, or contamination. Anything where a vehicle of some sort is holding a plague of some sort, and once it arrives, it is opened up. I love that concept, but I wish they would have done more with the notion of what the green cloud was doing to Moonbase Alpha in terms of the havoc and, and stuff that it was playing but i guess it really wouldn't be much of an episode or could have had so this one you know where seed of destruction seemed to slow things down a bit and just take you through a good story this one actually tried to get you through it way too fast and uh and so i don't know the ultimate end reveal i'm just gonna go and lay it out so if you don't want to hear psh, psh, but you do find out in the end that the alien is not actually a living organism. It is a machine sent from the cloud. Again, it, and that's why Maya cannot change into it. And so she has to um, find another resolution uh, to bring this thing to a halt. And mysteriously, once it, it's br brought to a halt, the cloud just vanishes without any trace of anything. So weird. Not many answers on this one. Uh, but probably wasn't Freiburger's top of his uh, thing. So not a terrible episode by any stretch. Not a bad one. I, it's just it just wasn't that my, my my cup of tea. There's certain intangibles. I mean, certain things they did. I love those ideas when they unload into something much more horrifying. And so I thought there was really a missed opportunity here. But but David Prowse is the alien. And so if you want to see David Prowse. And something other than Star Wars playing Darth Vader. I hope you knew that. Um, check it out. So, matter. I think a matter of balance is next for me. Yes, a matter of balance. Uh, another Charles uh, Creighton uh, episode. Uh, different writers, though, it looks like this time. So, a matter of balance, if you're keeping track, is our next stop. So, the beta cloud. If you saw it, what you think? Um you feel kind of like me anyways going for under 10 minutes this weekend with my review so anyways appreciate the support those who've been commenting those who've been following so much appreciated thank you so much and uh episode 38 on to number 30 on and pretty soon we'll hit that 40 as always as always take care go bills